Well, everyone, we got to talk about this because, honestly, it started the trend. We, we needed to give a little credit to beat -em ups over there and then RGT85 for deciding to talk about this at the time that they are because right now we are on my account on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And I'm on record many, many times that we're saying the eShop is the number one thing I want to see improved on the Nintendo Switch 2. And there's many reasons for that because the eShop sucks. There is nothing good or redeeming about this eShop. Even this featured section, which when the eShop first launched on Switch did not originally exist. Uh, it, it, this isn't good. This is just obviously games that Nintendo wants to advertise, whether it's from like a partner like EA with FC25 or just like Nintendo's own games that you're seeing here. Um, occasionally some third parties in there as well, like Star Wars Hunters, but it's mostly just Nintendo games because that's what a featured section is. It's an advertisement section, but you don't really need a whole tab for featured. I, I honestly think that the eShop just sucks. Uh, it, it, there's no game suggestions. There's no rating systems. And I, we're going to go through the eShop today piece by piece, just going over how much this all sucks. Uh, before we do, I want to remind you, we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So if you're agreeing with this video, you want to see more uh, dives like this, especially when news is slow, let me know uh, by subscribing to the channel and uh, giving me a comment down below on what's one thing you want the eShop to improve on. Now, one thing right off the bat with the eShop, and I've talked about this before, is it is slow. Look as I'm going through here, things aren't loading in. There's a bunch of delay between me selecting these different tabs. Uh, so like, I, I'm even now like I'm pressing up and nothing's happening. Uh, the eShop is slow. It's very, oh God, look at this. It is so slow. Uh, and if you didn't know what the reason for this slowness is, it's not because the Nintendo Switch is slow. As you'll see when you go to the home menu here, this is pretty snappy. This is good. This speed is good. This this works. You know, you can go up here. I can select my profile. You'll see my friend code here for a second. Uh, yeah, it, this is all fairly snappy. You go to settings, uh, all good. Uh, you go to, you know, the eShop. That pops up real quick. Uh, the album. You know, that pops up super fast. So, honestly, the whole system is fairly snappy, especially for something that came out in 2017. But the eShop isn't. And the reason the eShop isn't is because the eShop is actually a web browser. It is not a localized application built for Nintendo Switch. This is running in a web browser. And that is why it is so damn slow. So, the chief thing I want to see happen with Nintendo Switch 2 is I want to see this eShop built onto the system, be an actual application on the system, built to the system, it will run so much better. This isn't saying all web-based applications are bad or all you know browser-based applications are bad, but in the case of Nintendo Switch, it definitely, this is bad. Um, but even if you go over to like recent releases, uh, there are some issues on the eShop. Um, you know, the, right now, these are obviously what, what released today. Things, things are constantly constantly changing but then you run into stuff like this hentai stars or uh hentai golf and the crazy thing is is you know when i when i select one of these games and look i i'm not here to judge if you're into hentai or not that's not my uh point of existence um or my my, my point of contention but the thing is, as you're going through these games, obviously these are meant to appeal to a certain crowd that likes a certain thing. And I'm not saying these games shouldn't exist on Nintendo Switch, but what I am saying is these games appear on my children's Switches. Uh, and the problem isn't that it's T for teen, because I, I do let my kids play T-rated games, and I guess I could edit parental settings and Hopefully, it would hide these games. I don't trust Nintendo's eShop to hide them. But the problem is, is I get questions. Questions like, as a parent, hey, Dad, what's hentai? That is not a conversation. They might as well just be asking me, hey, Dad, what's prawn? I, I, I don't want to be having those conversations with my children. And honestly, while this is obviously just the recent release section, a huge reason that this could end up getting fixed is one, uh, they could create an adult-only area that requires passcodes and stuff to enter. Um, to, for, for certain games that use certain terms in the title or are rated, obviously rated M, 
Uh, that's one way they could end up taking this stuff and separating it out. So you actually have to dig and want to find it rather than just have it up here, you know, right here, 90% off, you know, right here in the feed. Uh, you know, what is this? A couple thing, a couple rows down from the brand new games that just came out. Uh, so that's one thing they could do to end up hiding some of this adult content um, at least what i would consider adult content i guess it's technically rated teen because there's probably no actual nudity or anything uh, but like hentai solitaire obviously this is all meant to take advantage of people who are e over certain things hentai dating stories i mean these hentai games are everywhere and again i'm not saying that these games shouldn't exist on nintendo switch because i'm not here to tell you what you can and can't play and there's obviously plenty of people I mean, look like at Hentai Paradise. There's plenty of people that are, must be into these games for them to exist. I'm just saying that they shouldn't be um, so readily appearing. Uh, there should be a layer to this where you have to. You only get this content if you look for it, essentially. And honestly, people that want that content might actually appreciate having a section they can go to that is just for those kind of games because they'll see all the available options. Honestly, that's sort of an improvement in general for the eShop we need to see is a better organization of the games. Uh, there's uh, one thing I want to go to here if you go down to Great Deals. And I'm curious if any game pops up I already own because there's some stuff that I don't like. Yeah, right, right off the bat, we have Overcooked right here. I don't know what it's on sale for, but why is it appearing in Great Deals for me? I own Overcooked. This is a wasted spot on the great deals list for me. It's a wasted spot. I own the game. This is, doesn't help me when I'm browsing the eShop to look at something I already own. It, it, it makes no sense. Is there anything else on this purchase? I have no idea if there's anything else on here because honestly, I haven't bought anything on the eShop in a while. Well, I'm sure I'll run into something eventually. There's 2,000 plus games on here. Uh, right here, like near Automata, right? Like, why is this? Why is this popping up? I own that. It does not need to be there. Uh, it's just a waste of a spot in the great deals section. And it, you know, I mean, it's taking forever to load, so we're not going to keep going down. You can come scrolling back up. Man, this is so slow. Uh, but even when you go to like the filter, right? Because you're like, okay, well, you're in the great deals section. I want to filter things. One, look how long it's taken to load the damn filter. Who's going to want to do it? And then it's going by best sellers. All right, let's say I want to do it by release date new to old or price low to high, price high to low. How about, oh, relevance. Okay, relevance. So how is relevance determined? Remember, I would like the eShop to cater to my taste and what I buy. I would like there to be a suggestion. So relevance should be about the kind of games I like to play and the based on the games I have purchased in the past. So let's see what it, it, it gives me, right? Let's see what it gives me. Um, Among Us? Overcooked is still there. Overcooked 2, I guess I could understand that being there because of Overcooked. All-Star Brawl, is that because I own Smash Bros.? I, okay, I understand the overcooked suggestions. Um, I don't understand most of the rest of these. What what is this based on? Um, you guys, look at the games on my Switch. Look at these: Splatoon Three, Paper Mario, Bio Mutant, Hogwarts Legacy, Fortnite, Grounded, uh, Super Mario Three D All Stars, Fall Guys, Super Mario RPG. I mean, look at look at my look look, look at this: Princess Peach, Mario Wonder, you know, Animal Crossing, Pikmin Four. I mean, look look at the games I have. So what, and, and there's games obviously not downloaded around here that I've had before, but what part of it, what part of the eShop thinks that any of those games they're suggesting are games I'm interested in based on what I play? I have multiple Zelda games. Where's my action adventure games being suggested to me? And, and there's just no game suggestion system. There's also no rating system. So how do I know if a game is good? It's not always about what a game costs. It's if a game is good. Is it, am I supposed to base a, a game being good on if it's a bestseller? Like, okay, Minecraft is number one. I, I At this point, I think everyone knows what Minecraft is. But how would I know, say, this game? How would I know if Shredded Fate is good? There's no, there's no rhyme or reason on here for me to be able to tell if this is a good game. I can open it up. I can look at the screenshots. But and I, don't real, I realize in the end, ultimately, if it's for me, it's something I have to determine personally. But how do I know if this is a good game? Oh, right. I got to pick up my, my phone here. 
and go look up some damn reviews or something, right? There's no way for me to actually look at this and tell if this game is actually any good. The funny thing is, we had this ability on the Wii U. There was the star rating system. And while the star rating system was useless for Nintendo games because, look, Mario Kart would be rated five stars, uh, five out of five. So would, uh, so would Nintendo Switch Sports. So would uh, Mario Wonder and Smash Bros. Um, and, and pretty much, I mean, even Snipper Clips and stuff would have been rated that. So I, I, I get, I mean, like even just fumbling around, it ended up backing me out so dumb um i get that for nintendo games it was useless but for a lot of these third-party games it was very very useful i mean look i own hogwarts legacy but i don't own the bundle version so it's got to be on there like i'm gonna buy the bundle version when i already have the normal version but you know uh, th th there's no rhyme or reason or anything that we can't Add user reviews, and it should only be by verified purchases, of course. But still, man, I, I, I find this just to be frustrating. Uh, you come to the coming soon section now. Again, the, the coming soon section, I, I've, I've never really understood because all this is is an advertisement, right? This is all just ads, and I guess these are the most recent upcoming releases, like seven twenty-five, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I uh, what, what's the point of this? I'm not interested in any of these. Why isn't the coming soon section, you know, able to organize itself to stuff that's based on my interest? Like what's coming soon that I'm interested in right now? None of these games I'm seeing are games that I would be interested in. And I know I'm judging books by their cover and I could be wrong. And maybe I would be interested in these, but there's no way for me to know. Like it's not, it doesn't say like it says estimated release date. It doesn't say um, likely to appeal to people who enjoy Zelda games or likely to appeal to people who play puzzle games, you know, or, or whatever. Like there's ways that they could show at least the kind of people that would be into these games. I honestly think it would increase game sales for indie games and uh, third party games. And then there's this whole Nintendo Switch online section, which I can't be the only one that feels this is like redundant, right? This whole Nintendo Switch Online. So I want to take look how long it's taking to load. This is insane. Uh, what are we back in dial up days? Are they going? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, look, we finally connected. Um, and look, it, it shows the DLC you get with it, but then it shows obviously the expansion pack content. Um, and you can download all the apps from right here. Like, I don't have these three downloaded. So you can download the apps, and that's cool. Uh, it gives you a quick link for the game voucher system, which is only available to NSO, and that's fine. And then it gives you all the software that supports online play, as if that's even a useful thing. But uh, that's fine. But here's what's crazy. Go back to the home menu. We have a Nintendo Switch online icon right here. And what does this do? What does this do? Hold on. What's happening? Oh, it loads a completely different NSO thing that is not the eShop. And oh, look, it shows me game vouchers. Oh, look, it shows me what's on sale right now. Oh, it shows me the DLC coming out and all the different icons. Oh my gosh, this actually looks like it might be a little bit informative. Also a little slow. I'm sure it's probably also web-based. But oh, look, it also gives me quick links to all the applications. Like I don't have the Super Nintendo one downloaded, so let's click on this and oh, look, I can download it. And what's it do, of course, it takes me to the damn eShop. You know, we can't just download it right from the NSO app. No, we need to go load the clunky eShop and download it. I don't understand what the point of this entire uh, eShop system is. Uh, you know, we'll download this anyways, because I, there's a couple SNES games I want to play. Um, but I don't understand what the point of this entire eShop is. When, or, or the NSO section, I suppose, when there's a whole place for, God, this is so slow. So damn slow. Oh my God, what, what page am I even looking at right now? What is happening? This is, it's just bad. <laughs> there, there's just nothing redeeming about the eShop. Yes, it's a quick way to purchase certain games. Like if you're going to the eShop and you're just looking for one specific game, yeah, I guess the eShop's fine then. But oftentimes when people browse in the eShop, it's like browsing a store where we want to look at the games. We want information on the games. And I get that you can open, but like, you know how hard this is? Like, uh, let's go to like recent releases. And let's say, you know what? Oh my gosh, it's so slow. I want to I wanna just look in general at information on a handful of games. So let's start with Conscript, recent release. All right, I'm looking at the, oh my God. So, all right, so the screenshots still aren't loaded in. 
God forbid you try to watch a trailer that gets added, because sometimes there's a trailer in here to watch, and that takes forever to load. All right, we're going to go down here. I want to read more. Okay, cool. We're reading more about the game. All right, well, I want to know the difference between the versions. So now let me go over here, and now i got to wait. It's just so clunky. It's just so damn clunky. Uh, I, and then I want the difference. Here we go. It's all the way down here. So it contains Conscript Game VF for the Trench Raider Pack. Trench Raider Pack is... Uh, three additional uniforms to choose from in the Trench Raider pack. Okay, so you're paying five dollars more for some uniforms for a game I don't know much about. Uh, and then we want to go back and let's say let's go to uh, hey, what's what, what's Dempa Man? I haven't seen that game in forever. Let's go look at this. Oh my, it's so slow. It's so slow. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me grab my phone. I know I'm down a little in the corner. But let's say I just want to oh, make sure the app's not open. Let's say I just want to go look at a YouTube video. Watch me tap this YouTube icon. Look how long it takes. Hey, look, there's YouTube. It's loaded. Uh, let me tap on a video quick. Oh, look, here is uh, Scrapyard Wars, my Linus Tech Tips. Let me just tap on this. Oh, look at that. Instantly playing. Instantly playing. This is so slow, and I understand it's a $1,000 phone, and maybe it's an unfair comparison. The eShop is slow as shit. It's so slow. Hold on. There's a trailer in this one. Let's click the trailer. All right. That, that was actually pretty quick. All right. That, that, that was a pretty quick. I'll give him credit. That was pretty quick. I've had it where it's taken you know up to a minute to load a trailer before, so that one was pretty quick, so it kind of proved against my point. Oh, my God. Just look at the navigation. This is so slow. You can see it lag in real time. This is insane. If our phones work this way, we'd throw them out the window. I, guys, the eShop needs to be better. We need to... My suggestion to Nintendo is to look at the Netflix. Uh, look at Amazon Prime. Look at other people's shops. All of them have like rating systems. They have suggested content based on what you purchase and played. Nintendo knows how many hours we play games. It's listed right here. When we open this up, look, look, it's listed right here. By the way, this is my children using YouTube, not me. Uh, but it's listed right here. Like 85 hours in Tears of the Kingdom. I must like Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, hey, I must like a bunch of the games in the N64 app. There's 90 hours there. Hey, maybe suggest me some games based on the N64 games I played. Oh, man, I spent a lot of hours on those. But hey, 20 hours, 75 hours in Smash. Hey, must like fighting games. So suggest some fighting games to me. Even though I don't, but I can understand why you would based on my hours played in that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, these hours played are so far off because this is like my fifth switch. So you guys don't know the hours don't really transfer with your switches. It's, it's all weird. But the point is Nintendo has all the data. They need to make the eShop better. The eShop needs to be better. Look out of all the improvements for Nintendo Switch 2. That's the biggest one I want to see. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know what improvements you'd like to see to the eShop down below because right now it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I'll catch you guys in the next video.